Flop it on. Dang. What do you think? Man, I think that's... Rex the Champions? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Super early morning this morning because we're getting on a plane. Breakfast, then we get on a float plane instead of the ferry. It's gonna be sick. More lines. Plane ride done. Had to get to the star. We got an hour until 11. And then we kicked this thing off. Last year was like three hours, so probably be a little bit longer with the, the rain. Kit on. Let's do this. Great riding, man. That's f***ing awesome. It's raining. We finished just in time. I'm still bonking. It was a rough day out there. It's like just under three hours of race time. Wet the whole time. So pinned and the gravel roads were so slippery that I was afraid to take my hands off the handlebars. So I didn't eat enough and I paid for it on one of the last climbs. I came back and had a cup full of M&M, a Coca-Cola, Nutella and white bread sandwich, peanut butter and jelly, white bread sandwich. I feel like I could have just drank sh like hummingbird sugar water. Really? Got it. Oh man. So, we got the Snedden treatment last night. It's tradition as a Kona team member, that when you get to Seashell, we have dinner at Chris Sned's parents' house. The, the view from their backyard. And then they offered us to stay here last night because they're really nice people. And we just couldn't say no, you know. The tent is cozy and everything, and Steven's a great tent mate, but a real bed with real pillows and real sheets was pretty choice. So after a nice salmon dinner and some hand-picked blackberry crisp. Called it a night at like 9.20. <laughs> and, oh, it was such a nice night of sleep. Feeling recharged, packed more food today. Last year it was like 2.40, 2.45 for finish time. We gotta go, we gotta drive up to the venue. Oh, thank God, I was so worried. Yeah, boys! Yeah, boys!
I dropped him behind me. I got stung by a bee. Did you? Right as I went. I went, come on. Oh. Finish out a fairy charm out there. Coming in, David Brewery. 20 minute descent, way up there. And then it comes straight into the finish here. Catching a 2 o'clock ferry. Just had a shower and that, and that thing. Bit of a quick day. We're going to be in Squamish tonight. Wake up and race in Squamish tomorrow. So that'll be nice. Won't have to worry about packing stuff up in the morning. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a big day. Jeff lost a little bit of time on Felix today. So he's going to be out for blood. And Ben unfortunately punched a tree today and broke his hand. So I doubt he's going to race tomorrow. Which means I have a pretty good cushion for third and GC. I hate it for Ben. You know, that's a shitty way to kind of end your race, especially when you made it six days in. So yeah, I guess tomorrow I'll just be surfing wheels and trying to hang on. Try to come to the line with everybody and get it over with as fast as possible. I told Emily I'd take her bike to the bike wash. She better be relieving me soon, because this line is like, wicked. Here we go. Sick. Nice little nose manuals around that switchback. Yeah. I don't know if it was faster, but it probably looks cool. It looks cool. I'm trying to do my best Sam Schultz impression. Yeah, but it's marital, it's marital duty, man. You're sweetheart. Things you, the things you do for love, right? You're an honorary comedian. That means a lot. Coming from you, that means a lot. That's been giving me cokes all week. True Canadian spirit, just being a general nice guy. So I got excited because I saw uh, I think three teams in the Team 2 vet category. Broke up the like, band. I gotta get this done. Get her done. I gotta get it done. Please. Thank you. Nothing like a meat stick after a good hard day on the bike. There's a bike wash line. Brazil. Here's a shower line. But at least there's live entertainment. No baggage today. There's beer. That's a rubber chicken. That's how they've been waking us up every morning. With a rubber chicken and a megaphone. So. Light that mullet up right now. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies swoon. <laughs> morning, Sammy. Oh, top of the morning. We're just making some coffee and Hey oh, Joe. Oh I know. He's like, that's not food at all. Hey, where you going? Day seven, the medical line is just about as long as the breakfast line here. Sam needs to get his nipples bandaged up because he rubbed them raw yesterday. <laughs> Came across the line with bloody spots on his nipples on it. One more day. Hopefully everybody holds themselves together. Him hasn't seen medical yet. Don't say that. No, I just saying you haven't. It's good. I wasn't trying to jinx you. Four minutes. Where you go, guys? Oh, yeah.
go. Right on. Just finished up day seven here in Squampton. Alice and Brahms ice cream. Beautiful. I already pounded mine. Real boobs. Real boobs and raspberries. Mm -hmm. oh. The rest of the afternoon is going to be spent drinking beers, hanging out in the oh. river. They gave me like three extra pizzas. sets of beer tickets. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They only gave me two. I have four oh, total. I, I drink four beers. I'm going to be drowning in the river. And so it begins. The race is over. Before I drink too many beers, I'm gonna pack my bike. Because I don't wanna to forget to put my bike in my bike bag. I'm being responsible. That's the first guy I've seen though packing his bike so far. Oh my god. They even color coordinated them. 